Hi friends, it's Monica and today let's talk about some goals. So for 2022, I wanted to make a list of goals for different aspects of my life, but I'll only be sharing my reading goals, my booktube goals, and my writing goals with you all. So if you're interested about hearing more about them, continue watching. Starting off with my reading goals, my first goal is to read 52 books this year. So last year, I only read 25 books, which is still quite a lot, but I just really want to cut down my TBR, try to get that number as low as possible, but it seems that it's gonna keep on growing forever. So I think a book a week will be manageable for me. Let's hope I can keep that up. And so I use the Goodreads challenge to see if I'm caught up or not with my reading challenge. And so far, I think... I think I'm on track. And my second reading goal this year has to do with placing more of a focus on reading books I already physically own or I own on ebook. So to put a number to this goal, so at the end of the year, I could say, okay, I've read this much of books I already own. I wanna read at least out of that 52 books of my reading goal is 50% is books that I already own which I don't think would be such a hard goal to hit, but I do think I should focus more on reading books that's been sitting on my shelves for years and years and get those books to read. With this goal, I do think it will help limit my book buying overall since I'm not focusing on new releases as much or trying to obtain physical copies of new releases as much this year. And I do want to use more of my local library. I used to use my local library more. I don't know why I stopped. I think it was just consumerism side of Bookstagram and Booktube that I kind of fell into that I needed to own all the books possible that I read. Every single book I read, I needed to own. But I think this year I'm just cutting back on spending so much on books and just focusing on reading. And to keep up with what I'm reading, not only with Goodreads, I think I'll also be keeping a small, simple, really simple reading journal. Basically, I'll be listing out the title of the book, the author of the book, my rating, whether I own it, how many pages the book is. So I think that will help me just keep track of everything this year. This second goal is like a two-in-one of also keeping a reading journal. My third goal for reading this year is to explore more outside my preferred genre, which is fantasy and I'm predicting I'm still gonna read more fantasy than any other genre but I do want to step out of my comfort zone some more this year and pick up some more non-fiction books or contemporary books and thriller books which are all um, genres that I really like to read but I have not really extensively read so and just a side note I actually really love romance novels but I don't read them more often and I really like the specific style of romance and fantasy novels. It's like I really need something specific to my taste that I will actually genuinely love. And it's just, it's more fun to me to be in a fantasy setting than not. For my video last week, you might have seen I added uh, one nonfiction book, two nonfiction books actually, to my first uh, bi-monthly TBR. And I also had my mug pick be a contemporary book. So I'm already working on this goal. And my fourth and final reading goal is to write a review for each book I read. I am allowing this one to be more flexible in that I can write a review short or long on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Goodreads. So usually I do like to write quite detailed reviews about my thoughts and try to like summarize the book to get people to be interested in the book itself. But I guess for this goal, I just wanna get my thoughts out there and be happy if someone reads it. Okay, so moving on to booktube goals. So this category of goals is kind of similar to my reading goals in that my first booktube goal is to upload weekly for a whole year. So that's 52 videos, which is a huge commitment. So I am gonna give myself a little bit of wiggle room in this goal as well. So I will still aim for the 52 videos, but I will allow four weeks of the year that whatever may happen in my life or schedule wise. And just to give myself a little bit of peace of mind that it's okay if I don't upload a video for one week, but I do hope I, I will keep up the schedule going forward. And a little shameless plug now. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe 
for weekly uploads on either Thursdays or Fridays. <laughs> okay, so my second booktube goal is to create more intentional videos that I myself would love to watch on booktube. This means I'm planning some future videos that might be different to my usual style of videos right now as right now I'm really YA based of the content that I've uploaded so far. For example, I might try out a vlog style review videos since that seems to be quite engaging to like see what my current thoughts are as I'm reading the book and also give more of my detailed insights on personal development books I'm reading and what I've learned out of that book and how I might apply that to my life. I think those kind of videos would take more work so I'm still trying to plan out the details of each of those different videos so keep an eye out for them. My third booktube goal is to explore different filming styles and editing styles and in this goal it's because I'm not really an expert in filming. I am filming on my phone right now and with like my editing right now it's really simple it's just like jump cuts so I want to explore that side of video making more so I'll be tweaking some things here and there to my liking whenever I feel like it. And lastly for my fourth goal for booktube this year is to create a bookish community and make some new friends, meet new people this year. So I'm gonna hope and reach out and connect to some people. Uh, so my next category of goals is really not set in stone but I did want to talk about them anyways. They are my writing goals. I'm allowing my writing goals to be more flexible um, according to what is currently on my plate at the time. So I do have one main work in progress right now and the ultimate goal this year and best goal would be to finish my first draft of that by the end of the year maybe including one to two edits already but that's quite ambitious it might or might not happen and i'm okay either way and so that's my main writing goal but in order to do that i want to build up like a habit of writing daily starting out like a small amount like a hundred words a day and then increasing that amount whenever it feels comfortable and just being flexible with that number but just getting into the habit of writing will be just even great overall for me back in 2020 NaNoWriMo. My current work in progress, I wrote around 50,000 words of this book. I actually took the months of November and December to write this book and what I wrote was good practice because like this was the first huge NaNoWriMo project I took on but I felt like I rushed too much into that project. There's a lot of different aspects of that project now that I want to change and improve upon but my first base draft, I still really like what I wrote, but I just want to tweak it and kind of change some plot points here and there. It was a really good experience, but for my book, I don't want to put so much pressure on myself to finish it immediately because I do have other goals I want to focus on this year. I am planning to take like a month or so to plan out and like hash out all the details of like the plot and the like characters and the world building and such. It's kind of like an older YA book so my characters are in their early 20s. Of course it would be a fantasy book and I personally like my own fantasy world to be more grounded in itself rather than based on earth making up all the locations and countries and kingdoms and all the political schemes like I love that. That's so much fun to, to me to make that up. So that's pretty vague of what my work in progress is but I don't want to share too much because it's still really up in the air in my head. I have some ideas down on paper but I'm still working out all the little details. Um, depending on what happens and how much progress I make with my writing project, I'll be sharing more videos on that. So that is more of a year-long project and even maybe longer than a year is my writing goal. So lastly, I do want to include some other fun little goals. My first goal in this category is to learn how to do calligraphy. So I got this calligraphy kit from a website book outlet and it came with a calligraphy fountain pen with two nibs so it's like the <laughs> the stylus, the the pen tip. It came with like markers and ink cartridges and there's also an instruction book and exercise book. So this really is just a fun goal for me to take on because I really admire those people that just do those fancy lettering so effortlessly but I know it took them practice as well so I want to get on board with that and make my writing more pretty. <laughs> so I think I'll have a really fun time practicing that. So my second goal here is just to try out new recipes. So I do want to strengthen and learn more cooking skills this year by making dishes that I'm excited to make. Last but not least, I want to focus more on 
living in the present so this goal is be more mindful of my day-to-day -day and allowing myself to rest when needed and committing to journal more to just let out my thoughts basically i just want to be aware of my own limitations and work on areas i would like to improve such that i will read more personal development books but also not just read them and toss them aside work actively on it so that's my last goal that i'm going to be sharing with you all i hope you enjoyed listening and comment down below a goal of your own if you would like to share don't forget to give me a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button see you all soon Thank you.